Hi viewers and friends, we are in the studio today. I know I'm not wearing my headphones properly. This is a, a little technique that I use called one on one off. It just means that I can also hear myself in the room naturally as well as through the microphone. I probably look a bit geeky like this, but I don't care. The idea of these videos is to give you a a quick snapshot, if you like, let me know how I'm doing with that. Sometimes I will mention what gear I'm using, sometimes I won't. If you're curious at all, I will put stuff in the description about the gear that features in these videos. On that note, let me give you a very quick tour of the studio. What you're not going to see here is one of these super slick setups. This is my main... Can I get back without falling over stuff? This is my main working area. We've got a standard Mac keyboard with an editor keys overlay. This is an old Shure Beta 58 microphone that I use actually uh, for talking to you on. That's what you're hearing me through right now. And uh, also for talking to MusicLine using Source Connect when, we talk to them, when I talk to them online. Now just over here, uh, this is my actual mic setup. A little action camera on the top there, not a GoPro, a cheap alternative which is actually surprisingly good. Neumann mic with the pop shield. Um, my other pair of headphones, those are probably my favorite headphones. I'm wearing my not so favorite headphones at the moment because really I need the detail in these headphones. Over here is my lovely cat, Josephine, there she is. Keeping me company in the studio with Gromit, the dog. Yes, Josephine, the camera loves you, baby. Got a few instruments up on the wall here. The GoPro is actually filming my work surface. We've got my keyboard here, uh, lots of post-it notes, which are my friends because I have an absolutely terrible memory. This is about uh, three years old, this, this MacBook Pro. Absolutely ample for what I'm doing. It, it was one of the top spec computers when it first came out. Obviously, these days it probably isn't. This was a late 2013 model. And again, I have the Editor Keys Logic Pro 10 layout on it. That is because I, I actually sometimes like to stand while I'm working. And also, if I'm recording vocals on my own, I like to have the microphone over here and the laptop over here where I can reach the keys. But in order to monitor the video output from the laptop, I have to make use of this TV over here, which isn't on at the moment, but uh, basically all that does is mirror the display of this laptop. And I also have another TV over here, which is what I use to plug my cameras into. This thing around the microphone, it's one of these portable vocal booths. I've got an uninterrupted power supply over here because um, we, we do have problems with the power sometimes going off which is either to do with the electric company or it's to do with Sarah plugging too many things in at once in the kitchen and the circuit breaker goes off. It's not her fault. This is my hard drive stash over here. There's a lot of duplicate stuff across those hard drives, but it's good to have the backup. I also use Dropbox and I use iCloud. I've lost too much data over the years to not think about backing things up and rather essential to today's proceedings given the heat a nice big bottle of cold water fresh out of the fridge. So the current task is to comp and edit vocals for a project I'm working on with MusicLine. Because at the time of putting this video out, it's yet to be released. I'm just going to code name it Jerry for the time being. I can't explain why. And the song I'm working on, the code name is Numbers. There's a tiny bit of this song that I can play you. Each one of these rows is a track. There are several tracks in this project. We're using Logic Pro 10. It is just essentially a more powerful version of the free software that comes with a Mac called GarageBand. Logic is a Mac only thing, but for the PC there's Cubase, there's Digital Performer, there's all these different types of software They're called DAWs for short, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. Most of it is done inside the computer, we just have to find a way of getting sound into the computer, which is why we use the interface. I have several tracks that I've performed in, um, played mostly on a keyboard into the USB port and uh, we've got some drums here so listen to those we've got a, a synth bass here and so on with a few instruments and a bit of musical know-how I've come up with this uh, little passage here That 
that's all I can play it.